Travis Wayne Goodsell. So, imagine that uh, uh, the uh, knowledge that Sidney Rigdon wrote the Book of Mormon, that it wasn't Joseph Smith looking at a rock and a hat, and that therefore there was no space alien visit from uh, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ or Moroni, which was actually Nephi. None of that ever happened. And that the church is completely uh, exposed. <clears throat> Do you think that the church is just going to go away and hide in shame? No. The church is worth well over trillions of dollars. The $150 billion whistleblower, that was just from one financial investment company. And so, do your math. Dozens of financial investment companies for each of the intakes of money assets <clears throat> times by 150 and you get the point. <clears throat> so how would it happen? Would it happen? Would the church dismiss the Book of Mormon? The community of Christ did. They wanted to become part of the Christian coalition. They had to give up the Book of Mormon in order to do so. Because uh, to Christians, the Book of Mormon is an evil, satanic book <laughs> that preaches out against Satanism. So I guess it must be cancel cultured. And that's how the church is going to pull it off. They're going to use the newly emerging cancel culture to say, oh, okay, the Book of Mormon's bad, uh, yeah, we'll drop it, we're hinge pointing anyway, and the whole Joseph Smith seeing space aliens, great for tabloids, but cancel culture is shutting us down, so yeah, we're, we're still the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and now we're Christian. And so everything Joseph Smith is now gone. You don't believe me, huh? <clears throat> I had uh, just finished watching um, Bill Maher's show last night, from last night. And uh, I, his uh, discussion with Megyn Kelly and uh, his final statement was exactly in line with with the videos I've been doing for you is that uh, cancel culture is similar to political correctness as uh, that movement came out everybody wanted to be politically correct oh no you, no, you have to you, ha you can't wear white after Labor Day or some stuff like that <clears throat> and uh, got into person people's lives and behaviors and it wasn't about criminal behavior abusive behavior now it was we're going to create criminal abusive behavior because you wore a white dress after Labor Day <laughs> and we're gonna cancel culture you so that's it keeps changing the name over time, but it's the same pattern that is being used against us. And who starts these things? Does anybody ever pay attention to who the source of all this comes from? Who started cancel culture? You know, somebody had to give it a name. Somebody had to start the revolutions. <clears throat> uh, 
and uh, it's been going on for many millennia, unfortunately. It's just with our high technology, it's able to be done on a wide scale basis more effectively than ever before in recorded history. And so, uh, if you hadn't heard, just that one investment company in and of itself takes in more money than they get from tithing now. Because tithing comes in and a portion is uh, set aside into this investment company. And the amount of the investment that they set aside from tithing is more than the amount of tithing now from the interest alone. So they don't need Mormons. They don't need any of us. And if you hadn't been paying attention, if you've been living under a rock, there's this thing called a chimera virus. Chimera is the the ancient term but uh, yeah coronavirus crown virus when I heard that that was the virus that was ravaging uh, China I went oh crap oh you gotta be kidding me <clears throat> not a coincidence but uh, it's a genocidal war. Over two million worldwide dead. Over 500,000 Americans dead. Over, uh, did we reach over three? I think we reached over 3,000 dead in Utah. You have to combine the old folks' homes with the main homepage because they don't combine the two together. I have established that several times over as there would be deaths listed in the uh, elder care facilities but not on the homepage. Oops! But you'll hear the local news all say, oh we finally passed 1,000, we finally passed 2,000 um, we passed it a long time ago because you got to add in the elderly care facilities. Cuomo's not the only one covering up the deaths. <laughs> <coughs> and so, yeah, you have John DeLynn helping this. John DeLynn is the cult prophet leader of the ex-Mormons. And he's lying to Mormon, ex-Mormons, saying, Oh, yeah, whoever you want to be, that's who you get to be, and the church is lying. That's his tactic. He pretends to accept you for who you are, and throws in the common shared bond of we hate the church. Now, we should hate the church. They're lying to us. But John DeLynn is perpetuating the lie. He's not getting to the truth. Nobody in the ex-Mormon community are finding out and investigating what the truth is. Just uncovering that the church is lying is not enough. It's enough to get people out of the church saying, oh, okay, there, yeah, something's wrong here. We need to find out what it is. Until then, we just all need to leave immediately. That's me. I'm the one doing that. I'm the only one doing that. But John DeLynn is setting the trap. He's trying to cancel culture the church. And he will not succeed. But the church will say, oh, everybody hates us oh okay then we'll drop the Book of Mormon we won't use the Book of Mormon anymore we'll use the Bible and they'll still use the incorrectly translated Bible until people then come after them for that 
Because if you've noticed through the church's history, that's how they've evolved. <laughs> you know, stop polygamy. No. <laughs> stop polygamy. No. <laughs> okay. You're disincorporated. You're no longer a religion. You're a criminal. We're throwing you in prison. Oh, okay, fine, we'll stop. Here's an official declaration. But, uh, oh, gee, look, how did this get here? Oh, Section 132, that's from Joseph Smith, so you can't take that out like you're taking John Taylor's and extra revelations out. Oh, we're racist? Oh, we had no idea. Oh, we have to allow blacks into our religion? Okay, well, hey, you know, there's this Edmunds Tucker Act that sort of disincorporated us. Can you, uh, you know, cancel that? And then we'll, we'll think about lifting the ban on blacks. Same year, guys. <clears throat> oh, women want to wear slacks, do they? Oh, they want Eve to have a bigger speaking role, do they? Okay. We've changed the law of chastity to those in the plural. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the, the pattern. You know, the NAACP keep coming to the church saying, hey guys, come on. The Jews keep coming to the church saying, What the hell are you doing? Leave our Holocaust victims alone. The LGBTQ, excuse me. <laughs> the protect LDS children, hello. You're not seeing a pattern here. So the church keeps changing. But they're not changing. And they're doing this on purpose. You know the one rock in a hat? It's all nicely polished and shiny. Yeah, they're still lying to us. But, hey, those historians that we excommunicated and fired from BYU I guess they found out the truth, so here it is. Here's the one rock of the Urim and Thummim. And, and, but it's still the gift and power of God. They never celebrate Joseph Smith's birthday or acknowledge his anniversary of assassination. They used it in the beginning to justify retaliation against America. It was their intention to one day rise up and destroy America. And they used Joseph Smith's assassination to justify it. Now who gave the order to assassinate Joseph Smith? Because the mob had been chased out because Joseph Smith had a six-shooter. Who could have done it? I'm hearing magic bullet theories, just like a JFK's assassination. Who could have done it? Who was in the room with Joseph and Hiram? Uh-huh. And which quorum did they belong to? So yes, the church just plays games. Lies, lies, lies. Lies, lies. And it's all for the designed purpose. Because Brigham Young wanted nothing to do with Joseph in the Book of Mormon. He had no choice but to use Joseph in the Book of Mormon to justify what he did. And so everything Joseph Smith did was now practiced in secret 
and I'm the one who's now bringing it out and we're practicing it in real life. And it was Heber C. Kimball that was doing things in secret along with the Danites, not Joseph Smith. But that's how they do it. They do the work and blame somebody else for it. So that they can claim that they're innocent. Oh, we had no idea we were racist, sexist, bigot, haters, murderers of the poor. Oh, the, the poor chose by their own agency to leave during the winter time to come visit us? To join us? Oh, well, they should have been rich to join us in the summertime. Oh, man, that's so sad. Bummer. All those deaths. So, yeah, this is... And we, we, we see it today with conservatives as liberals help perpetuate it. Just like the church and John DeLynn. They're doing the same pattern, guys. And I don't want you to fall for it. Because it leads to death. If not yours, innocent people's deaths. As uh, Megyn Kelly was talking all about the, uh, the false ac accusers who didn't get punished. The whole Me Too movement. There's a whole ton of innocent people whose lives are destroyed and those false accusers, they're walking around free. And then wouldn't you know it, the whole Karen movement emerged from the Me Too movement. Just in time for the Black Lives Matter protesting. Which, again, as they were protesting, the cops came and beat the hell out of them. Do you not see that they are purposely manipulating the masses? They are deceiving you. We can't trust our own news anymore. And YouTube is doing their part in trying to censor as best they can my videos. They're doing a good job the last week. A lot less views than normal. And I know it ain't from coronavirus anymore. That excuse no longer holds water. But, again, the church purposely keeping the church open to kill off Mormons to get as many of the weak among us murdered and we all know the stats now we have the evidence the virus targeted the poor which thus are minority communities and the vaccines are going to the rich whites. That's the numbers. That's the statistics. That's the count. That's the measurement. They're purposely using Chimera, coronavirus, as a weapon to exterminate mankind and emerge with the master white race. So I hope you did see Bill Maher talk about the white race issue as little children are being raised to be racist, to be ashamed of their race. Racism is not natural. It has to be taught. So 
to the little kid while I was serving my mission in New York, New York, came up to me. Uh, he had separated himself from his, uh, his, his friends, his peers, uh, and uh, he comes running up, looks me straight in the eye, doesn't say anything. I smile, said hi, and then, after his moment of silence, he then says, you have devil eyes. Don't it make my brown eyes blue? Blue eyes, baby's got blue eyes. Eye color does not determine de demonic religious worship. <laughs> Despite Disney's older videos showing the, the evil villains and villainesses with the green eyes. Yeah, it's, you guys are all getting played. You're just being tossed around by one name or another for the exact same thing that has been used over and over and over and over again. And so, yes, the church is purposely taking advantage of this, hoping that John DeLynn will succeed in getting ex-Mormons so enraged so that the church says, Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll kick out Joseph Smith as the founder. We haven't really been talking about him anyway. We'll take out the hymns about him, and we'll stop the Book of Mormon. We're not going to push the Book of Mormon anymore. You happy? <laughs> Will that get you to... Oh, John DeLynn comes out. Oh, yeah, the church has dropped these things, so the church is okay now. Everybody back into the Mormon church. Pay your tithing protection racket guys that's the whole trick I can't believe John DeLynn is actually working with the church that's just I mean I expect it from liberals and Democrat or liberals and Democrats I did that earlier in my own ugh. Democrats and Republicans that they are purposely doing that dichotomy thing back and forth fooling America. How hard is it for Democrats to get things done? They own the government now. And nope. Oh no. Oh, we're so helpless. And Manchin, what the hell? But yeah, in the church, yeah, that not going to surprise me at all if by 2024 the church decides to say, hey, it's the millennium. Jesus Christ came you guys didn't see him but he came oh maybe if you're spiritually and have enough faith you see him <laughs> only those who have real faith will see that he's right here next to me isn't it great yeah my old buddy Jesus and and we're gonna you know we're getting rid of the Book of Mormon because Jesus is here now we don't need Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon we're going full steam ahead now into the Millennium so bring your daughters to the slaughter I mean to the marriage altar the younger the better I'm horny you don't think so yeah well Remember, I have been married and divorced twice in the Mormon church. The woman formerly called the second ex. Uh, after she had divorced me, uh, she still kept in contact because she felt guilty. <sighs> kept trying to get me to go to back to church. Dear, inverted pentagram, see? Our wedding photo. We were sealed in room 13. Remember that day? Donna, our Relief Society president, took our wedding photos along with your best friend from high school. There's our picture. Look at it. No, not us. Look at the... Inverted pentagram. 
I looked online and Mormon said that it's Jesus. <sighs> yeah, notice they also left out inverted. They're just calling it a pentagram. Oh, the pentagram has always been used as a symbol of a star. Yeah. <laughs> but what about the inverted pentagram? Uh, uh, I, I, I'm not comfortable. I don't like contention. I'm leaving. <laughs> and so, yeah, she's in denial. She refused to accept that the, the church is the church of the great and abominable church. And still calls me to repentance every now and again through an email. going unheard.